Hello and welcome. This is your instructor for Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning Internship Program organized by Algorithmic Electronics. So I would like to explain you the structure of this internship. So I would like to begin with the duration of this internship. The duration of this internship is 3 months which will include 12 different training modules. So these training modules will start from basics of Python, advanced Python, machine learning algorithms such as supervised machine learning, unsupervised machine learning, natural language processing, deep learning, computer vision and also the web development for your AIML product or the project. And the complete syllabus I will be discussing uh, shortly about these 12 different training modules and which will also include 10 plus projects in AI ML domain that will be some project will be in uh, supervised machine learning some will be in unsupervised machine learning some projects will be based on NLP deep learning and also on the computer vision so I'll be discussing uh, sample projects at the end of this video so make sure you watch this video till end the training mode will be online recorded sessions plus live question answer sessions through Google Meet. Now uh, there is always fear in mind whenever something is online or some sort of training is online. So there, are, uh, there is always fear that how I can sort my queries and doubts if I get during the training. So for that purpose we are going to provide complete technical support. Number one live question answer sessions through Google Meet. So you can definitely ask your queries and doubt in live question answer sessions. So whenever we will receive some queries and doubts we will arrange a live question answer session for that and you will definitely attend such sessions and you can ask your qu queries and doubts live. Secondly WhatsApp chat support. So whenever you will face some problem, whenever you are getting errors in your code, you can definitely take a screenshot and can send to us through WhatsApp. So our team will help you to sort your queries and doubt. Next is screen sharing. So you can share your screen uh, at any time so that our team can guide you to sort your queries and doubts. And finally, there can be a one-to-one -one calling support. So whenever you will be facing some problem, you can call to us and our technical staff will help you to uh, get rid of all the problems and queries you are facing. So for technical support, this is the helpline number where you can call and the calling time is Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And secondly, the fees for this internship is 2,500 rupees only. That will include this complete training plus the certification cost. So now we'll discuss about the training sessions or the training models which we're going to cover in the first four months. So model one is basic Python programming. Here we'll consider uh, that you don't know anything about the Python or we'll consider you have basic knowledge of Python and we'll start from that. So we'll start uh, right from the installation of Python software and the tools which are required to implement the machine learning algorithms or the Python programming. We'll discuss about the syntax, variables, data structures, decision control statements, looping structures, data structures in Python, functions, file handling in Python, error handling in Python and so on. Model 2 is advanced Python programming. So here we'll discuss object oriented programming such as classes, object, Python inheritance, such concepts we are going to discuss in this particular module. Also we'll talk about database integration with the Python. So basically we're talking about the SQL database which we are going to cover in this uh, session or in this section. Secondly we'll discuss about sending email and text SMS through Python. For that we are going to use some API services. The next model is NumPy which is used, this is the library of Python which is used for array operations or array manipulations. So it is a very powerful library in order to deal with the arrays. So there are different different uh, things that we can do with this uh, library like array filtering, searching, sorting and so on. So that we'll discuss in more detail in this particular model. The next is pandas library which is used for data pre-processing. So as you know for machine learning you need a data or data sets in order to train the models. So we can pre-process that data, we can clean that data, even we can plot that data using the pandas library. Next is matplotlib. This is one of the powerful python library which is used for data visualization or the graphical representation of data. So whatever data we'll obtain, we'll pre-process that data and we can visualize that data graphically using matplotlib library. So we, here we can consider some bar graphs, histogram charts or the pie charts, line graphs 
and we are going to discuss pyplot submodule from this matplotlib library. Next is machine learning. So after uh, obtaining data set, pre-processing and uh, after data visualization, we'll discuss machine learning in detail. So here we are going to discuss about what is artificial intelligence, what is machine learning, what is deep learning and what are the applications of machine learning. Also we'll talk about the life cycle of machine learning, how we can pre-process the data set and we'll uh, try to classify machine learning in two different categories like supervised machine learning and unsupervised machine learning. So we'll understand differences between supervised and unsupervised machine learning. We'll also discuss about the classification and regression problem statements which, uh, which can be solved using supervised machine learning. So these are some regression uh, algorithms that we can use such as logistic regression, polynomial regression, simple linear regression or the multiple linear regression. And these are some classification algorithms which can be solved using supervised uh, machine learning. So this is KNN classifier, support vector classifiers and so on. Uh, these are some uh, uh, names of classifiers. And this is uh, this diagram represents the supervised machine learning. So in case of supervised machine learning, you will have a labeled data set. Uh, in this picture, you can see these apples and bananas are labeled by the label apple and banana. So this is data set which is used to train the machine learning model. And this can be pre-processed by using suitable libraries. So after uh, training the machine learning model, unseen object or any another uh, unlabeled data or object can be given to this model and now the job of this machine learning uh, model or the algorithm is to predict the accurate label or the class for this particular object. So now here it can predict banana as a prediction. So this is supervised machine learning and these are some algorithms uh, which we are going to consider in model 7 and module 8. In module 9 we will talk about unsupervised machine learning. Uh, which is quite different than the supervised machine learning. So in case of supervised machine learning we have seen that we have the label data but in, in case of unsupervised machine learning here the data set is not labeled. So you can see here these apples and watermelons are mixed but uh, there is no label. So here job of this machine learning algorithm is to find out the labels or in order, uh, in order uh, the job is to form the clusters. So here you can see this is one cluster this can be labeled as apple or the cluster one and this is another cluster which can be labeled as water lemon or the cluster two. So here we are going to discuss clustering different different clustering algorithms uh, in detail in module 9. So we'll talk about unsupervised machine learning and the clustering algorithms. The module 10 is natural language processing. So here you can consider some projects like making a chatbot uh, for uh, any uh, college inquiry or for particular application. So basically natural language is nothing but uh, we, we are going to teach computer the uh, human language like uh, English Hindi. So we are going to develop some algorithms which uh, will help the computer to understand the natural languages and in, uh, the computer will extract meaning from our natural languages. So for that the natural language processing technology is used and uh, these are some topics that we'll cover under this module. Next is computer vision. So whenever I'll say computer vision I'm talking about image classification or the image recognition problem statement. For example, face recognition or the classification of fruits for its quality or identification of different different fruits or even the identification of the objects in the uh, real time video. So for that the convolutional neural networks we are going to use and which is uh, one of the most popular and the powerful algorithm for image classification and image uh, recognition problem statements. We'll also discuss different architectures of uh, convolutional neural networks. We'll talk about the uh, transfer learning and we'll also discuss programming less platform for computer vision which is nothing but teachable machine. In the next module uh, which is module number 12 we'll discuss web application development uh, using Python for that we are going to use Flask framework. So whatever machine learning projects you are going to uh, make in this internship or in the uh, next eight months after the training, you will design a web application or the web GUI or user interface for that 
and that you will do using flask framework and these are some topics that we are going to cover under the web application development so we'll talk about the routing variable rules http methods how to deal with the html document css files and images also we'll discuss about how we can upload image to our website using some apis and also we'll discuss about how to host our website on the cloud so that it will be available globally so i'll uh, try to explain you what kind of projects we are going to do or i'll just show you some sample projects so that you will uh, get an idea what kind of projects we are going to implement as a part of this internship so uh, i am running uh, projects on some another computer so i i'm going to access it by the uh, IP address of my server so this is the first project now it's loading it is uh, the brain tumor detection so now uh, this is just a sample project similar kind of projects uh, you will have to make now this is uh, the web application or the website that I was talking in the module 12 where I have discussed web application development so this particular uh, uh, model is based on the CNN architecture and it is capable of detecting brain tumors from the CT scan or MRI images so this is trained on the CNN architecture so here you can click on the detect brain tumor and you have to upload the file so let's say I will upload this one and as soon as you will upload the image will be here and now you have to give the name of the patient so I am giving this name and it will predict the result whether the CT scan is normal or abnormal so now let's try for the another uh, image now this is having the tumor again I'll give some patient's name and I'll test so this is the uh, CT scan with the brain tumor so this is how this is uh, the computer vision actually the computer vision based application which is brain tumor detection using the machine learning or the deep learning so similar kind of projects and similar kind of user interface of course the user interface will change as per uh, your design but similar kind of things you can design in in the uh, internship projects not exactly same but similar kind of projects you can consider now let me open one more project actually I am running projects on some another computer and accessing that using the IP address of that computer you can even open your projects in uh, uh, mobile application or in mobile or in Android phone or as well as in the iOS phone as we are hosting it on the local host so this is another uh, project the chronic kidney disease detection using machine learning so here uh, this is the home page and uh, on the check parameters tab here you can provide some uh, uh, different parameters related to the kidney health basically this is uh, the parameter or these are some parameters which can be obtained from the urine test of that particular patient so here I am putting some uh, random values in order to show you how it will work but actually you can put up some values from the actual urine test report of that particular patient and you can verify uh, the algorithm so here supervised machine learning is used so we have the data set for this chronic kidney disease and uh, so many entries we are having more than 10,000 entries of different patient we are having and we are training our model we are using random forest classifier to train this model and finally we are predicting the results so once we predict so I'll get this results uh, sometimes I'll get the normal kidney or sometimes I'll get the chronic kidney disease detected and secondly we'll also diagnose this thing using the ultrasound so I can upload some images or the kidney ultrasound images so let's say I upload this one and let's test this one so this is a normal kidney ultrasound so let's check for the another uh, ultrasound so this is another uh, ultrasound image and let's test for it 
so this time it is showing abnormal kidney ultrasound so this is how the uh, basically this is also done using the CNN and the previous uh, the parameter testing was done using the supervised machine learning algorithm so similar kind of things uh, you can do for the biomedical diagnosis uh, this time we are doing this is for kidney uh, health you can try this for the heart related problems or even you can try this for brain tumor or for the lung cancer or you can even predict covid uh, from the ct scans of the chest or even the x-ray images of the uh, uh, lungs or the chest okay so one more project i'll show you now this is a stock price prediction again it is based on the regression analysis so i'll run on the another computer again i'll hit the same ip address which is the ip address of my server so this this will load so sometimes you can use the uh, uh, user registration also login and uh, the registration page is also in your website now this is the home page and this is capable of predicting the stock price using the historic data as well as from the Twitter sentiment analysis so I'll uh, explain how it can predict from this so here you have to uh, provide the name of the stock which you have to predict uh, for the for its price so I'm using SDFC bank and as it is Indian stock so you will apply dot NS after the name of that stock and the start date for the historic data you will provide over here so I'm mentioning 2020 July 1 and the end date I'll provide 2021 uh, July 9 and then I'll predict the price of this particular stock so now basically what it uh, it will do it will fetch uh, the stock information or the historic data for this one year from 2020 to 2021 from Yahoo Finance uh, for that purpose we are using uh, Y Finance API and uh, uh, it will do ARIMA uh, modeling for that uh, regression analysis and it will predict the future value of that stock so this is the current price of the stock and this is the price predicted for the next day uh, using the ARIMA modeling or the regression analysis and this is the graph which represents the stock price over the time so another uh, project I would like to show you which is actually uh, based on the NLP algorithms uh, this is the chatbot basically and uh, I will run that so this is basically a chatbot designed for a college inquiry so you can ask some questions to that bot so I, again I'm going to hit the same URL so this is the chatbot for the college inquiry and uh, now you can ask some this is home page actually and you can ask the questions initially you have to submit your name and once you submit now the chatbot will be activated and it will ask you, you have to ask some questions so you can say hi and then you can ask some questions as well for example how many courses do you offer something like that and it will reply with this even you can ask uh, some questions like uh, let's say scholarships something like this and uh, now it is replying these things the so here again we are will be having our uh, data set and uh, we are going to train our chatbot on that data set on the questions and answers and then we can ask different different questions different variations of the questions and we can test our chatbot and again if you want to give feedback then uh, you can actually give feedback from here and uh, you can just uh, type this is my feedback oh, just I'm giving dummy feedback uh, just give two ratings for example and the rate so now it will submit the feedback and the users list so how many users have logged into our website their contact details will be collected over here in the feedback section you can give feedback here or you can also give feedback on this page and you can view feedbacks so this is the feedbacks over the time this is rating 2 and the feedbacks will be available over here so uh, the moral of the story the similar kind of projects you will work on during this uh, internship 
uh, not exactly same project but you can consider uh, this kind of things you will have to uh, make and uh, necessary training and the guidance will be provided in the first four months and also our support will continue uh, in the next eight months uh, whenever you are working on the projects and for uh, I hope I have cleared all the doubts and queries regarding this uh, internship and if you are still having any queries or doubts you can communicate with us or you can contact us on these numbers To join the internship, please click the link in the description. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the internship program. Thank you.